The late Silvio Berlusconi's huge art collection has been mocked by one of Italy's leading art critics. According to Vittorio Scarbi, the 25,000 paintings are largely crossed, poor quality works of little to no value. The former Italian Prime Minister, who died in June, bought many of the paintings and sculptures from late-night telesales programs. Managing the extensive collection is proving a headache for his descendants. The billionaire's purchases are held in a 3,200 sqm warehouse close to his mansion near Milan. They include paintings of Madonnas, vivid images of naked women and cityscapes of Paris, Naples and Venice among others, according to La Repubblica. But the collection failed to impress Scarby who told a magazine that people who know little about art might enjoy visiting a museum containing the works. There are perhaps six or seven paintings out of 25,000 with any artistic value, he added. The entire collection is estimated to be worth around a negation 20 meters, a pound 17.4 meters, an average of a negation 800 a painting. Berlusconi, who dominated Italian politics from the early 1990s, had a net worth of around a negation 6 bn at the time of his death. He also owned higher quality paintings, however. His main residence was decorated with works by the Renaissance painter Titian and the Dutch Grand Master Rembrandt. Cesare Lamprenti, a London-based art dealer who maintained a close relationship with Berlusconi for three decades, told the BBC that the billionaire was an impulsive buyer. He liked to buy portraits of women he gave as gifts to friends. When he was younger, he bought at galleries and from dealers, but later in life he bought from TV auctions, Lamprenti said. He knew what he was buying was worthless. Berlusconi says a finding that the enormous collection is a cumbersome burden. The warehouse housing the art costs around a negation 800 comma a year to run, La Repubblica said. Woodworms have already destroyed part of the collection. In some cases, the cost of exterminating the best succeeds the value of the paintings.